The word deliver means to be rescued, to be set free, to be brought out, to, to go from one place to another. I like this one. Deliver means to escape. To escape one predicament and to be placed into another. Look at your neighbor and say, deliverance is yours tonight. I want everybody to think individually. Don't think collectively. What situation are you going through? What do you need God to deliver you from? What type of thoughts do you have when no one's around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What type of dates do you and your girlfriend go, go on when the lights are off? Yeah, and mama go to bed early, huh? Because mama feel like she can trust you. Deliverance is yours tonight. You a girl, do you like girls or boys? Deliverance, deliverance is yours tonight. You a boy, do you like girls or boys? Deliverance is yours tonight. Huh? Have you been always thinking about murder? Have you been thinking about fighting somebody? Huh? Deliverance is yours tonight. What type of magazines have you been looking at when mom and them go to sleep? What do you get the remote control in order? What type of movies do you order? Look at your name and say, deliverance is yours tonight. What do you have a subscription to? Do you have a, do you have a subscription to Ebony? Do you have a, a, a subscription to Kristen Digest? Or do you have a subscription to Playboy Mansion? Come on, somebody. Deliverance is yours tonight. Look at your name and say tonight. tonight. Look behind you and say tonight. tonight. Teenagers, teenagers are going through situations. Huh? Statistics say that 65% of the teenagers that's sitting in this room right now, in the past month, they've drunk some type of alcohol. Look at your name and say deliverance is yours tonight. Statistics say that 35,000 teenagers get an STD daily. Look at your neighbor and say, deliverance is yours tonight. Deliverance, 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 deliverance is yours tonight. Statistics say that 85% of teenagers, by the time they're seniors, they have smoked marijuana. Look at your neighbor and say, deliverance is yours tonight. Statistics say that most teenagers become sexually active. I didn't say they lose their virginity. I said they become sexually active at the age of 13. Look at your neighbor and say, deliverance is yours tonight. Statistics say that most teenagers lose their virginity. Get this now, at the age of 11. Look at your neighbor and say, deliverance is yours tonight. But what, what, what do we need to be delivered from? What, what do we need to be delivered from? You need to be delivered from that it in your life. Every one of us, we're sitting here tonight, we have different it's in our life. What is that it? That it is the thing that's separating you from God. Some of you, it may be that girl. Some of you, it may be that weed. Some of you, it may just be the way you talk. Some of you, it may just be the music you listen to. Some of you, it may be the type of movies that you look at porno. What is that it that's separating between you and your God? The Bible says very clearly in the book of Matthew, the Bible says, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It's best to go, to go around Maine with one hand than to have two hands and enter into hell. That scripture, symbolically speaking, whatever in your life is causing you to sin, the Bible says cut it off. Look at your neighbor and say cut it off. Now if some of us guys would take that literally, we would be in bad shape. Deliverance is yours tonight. Deliverance is yours tonight. That it in your life. Is it sin? Is it sickness? Is it tormenting spirit? Some of us, we just have mind battles, the homosexual spirit. I will begin to pray and I will begin to prepare for the night in the Bible. And God began to tell me, he said, Minister Robert, you will be surprised if you know how many teenagers in your youth group is battling with the spirit of homosexuality. But I came from a word, I came with the word of God, from God tonight to let you know tonight is your night of deliverance. You don't have to do what the devil's telling you to do. You don't have to go where the devil's telling you to go. You don't have to be what the devil is trying to make you be. Tonight can be the night of your deliverance. High five your neighbor and say deliverance is yours. Tonight. 
What is the process that the devil tries to take us through? I'm, I'm moving on very quickly because you shouted up almost time, all my time. I enjoyed it, but you shouted all my time up, so I got to go quickly. I got to go quickly. Deliverance is yours tonight. What is the process that the devil tried to take you through? The Bible says very clearly in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and destroy. But listen, the devil's not going to walk up to you and say, hey, how you doing, brother Jarrell? I'm about to destroy your life. That's not how the devil's going to do it. He's not going to walk up to you and say, hey, brother, Jer brother Wayne, I'm about to kill you right now. God, the devil doesn't work that way. There's a process. What is the process? First of all, the devil begin to deposit thoughts in your mind. Everybody scream thoughts. And then those thoughts, as you begin to meditate and think of those thoughts, think about those thoughts, those thoughts begin to turn into experimentation. And then that experimentation, those actions of exper experimentation turns into habits. And then those habits turn into bondage. And then you're hooked. The devil's main thing is to get you stuck in bondage. To get you stuck in bondage. Listen, the devil don't want you to just use, lose your virginity. He wants you to get stuck. He wants you to be running around looking for somebody to have sex with when, when you know it's wrong. The devil wants you to be stuck. Yeah, he starts you off experimenting with the boys smoking weed. And the devil wants you to be so stuck. You sitting on the back porch by yourself smoking weed. Getting high by yourself. He starts you off drinking at parties, man. You and all your boys, y'all having fun. And then he have you in your room by yourself drinking by yourself. Have you stuck? He have you so far stuck. He, he gets you in those porn magazines and he gets you on those DVDs. And then you and the boys standing around, you and the girls standing around looking at them. But then what happens when you in your room by yourself masturbating? My God, your mama said, I just bought some lotion. Why all this lotion disappearing? My God, I know you... I just bought a whole thing of Vaseline. I, I know you ain't using that much lip gloss. <laughs> deliverance is yours tonight. High five your neighbor and say deliverance is yours tonight. Come on, say deliverance is yours tonight. I got to move on very quickly. How, how, do I, how do I get set free? How do I receive this deliverance? The Bible says in our text scriptures here in the book of Colossians chapter 1 that God has delivered us from the power of darkness. Yet, you, Pastor Robert, I'm still sitting here with these thoughts. Yet, I cannot break away from my boyfriend. Yet, I cannot break away from my girlfriend. Yet, I'm, I'm still addicted to crack. Yet, I still can't stop cursing. Yet, I still like girls. How do I receive this deliverance? How do I receive this deliverance? First of all, to receive your deliverance when? I'm talking about receiving deliverance when? I'm talking about how to receive your deliverance when? First of all, you got to totally give it up. Whatever that it is in your life, you got to totally give it up. The Bible said in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 1, lay aside, let us lay aside every weight and sin that so easily beset us that so easily throw us off the Bible said we gotta lay it aside you have to give it up God's not gonna come take it from you a lot of us been praying God God take away these take away these cigarettes but yet instead you still take your five dollars walk your pretty self in BP and buy some more the Bible said you got to give it up you gotta lay aside you gotta lay aside every weight Come here, Brother Marquez. You got to lay aside every weight. Listen, if this towel is a weight upon him, and I lay this towel upon his head, lift up your hands, brother, and pray and ask God to do it for you. Come on. Come on, brother. Come on. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will deliver me from this towel. Remove this joke of this towel away from me right now. In Jesus. Name. That towel is still there. Come on, brother. Father, remove it right now. Take it away from me, Father. I don't want it anymore, Father. Take it away from me, Father. That towel is still there. Now let me get a smart brother. Come here, DJ. Look at this. Listen. He praying and he asking God. He, he asking God. God, take it away from me. God, look at this right here. Say, God, give me the ability to take it. Then I want you to snatch it off your head. God, give me the ability to take it. You see that? 
Listen, the Bible says you got to lay aside. You got to do what? You got to lay aside. You got to lay aside every way. You got you to gotta put them condoms down. Come on, somebody. You got to put that gun down. You got to put that bullet down. You got to put that magazine down. God is not going to manifest himself and show up in your room at 1 o'clock and knock that magazine out your hand and say, boy, if your grandmama knew what you were looking at. You got to lay aside. The Bible says very clearly in Hebrews 12 and 1, lay aside. Let us lay aside every weight that so easily beset.